Steve Rapp has somebody that has seen more grids than maybe anybody in the paddock here. You've been around the race series for a number of years. What made you decide to get on the XR1200? Except Michael Barnes. Pardon? Except Michael Barnes. Except Michael Barnes. Um, well, you know, uh, at the end of the season this year there was uh, a lot of new changes and this class was fairly new and I, uh, an opportunity came up where I worked with Jim Leonard uh, before when I rode with them on Ducatis. And, we had talked a little bit last year and he said, you know, if you want to try the bike, you know, give me a call. And it was about January or late February, um, getting close to Daytona and I was like, hey, let's go to Daytona and try this out and let's see what it's like. And so we did that. It went pretty good considering um, first time on the bike was there and, uh, and then we just decided to just do the whole season and uh, kind of just keep moving forward. What would be the biggest kind of difference between some of the bikes you've raced and something like this? I know these are a bit heavier because they're basically in street trim. Yeah, heavier, less power. You know, I mean, it, this goes back, you know, this design is an old design. So it goes back to, you know, um, early 70s maybe, like when those guys were dirt tracking. This is basically the same design that they rode. So it's that feel, but which is cool because everyone's on the same bike. And it's, um, it's, you know, not hard to ride, but it's hard to get it to, to ride fast. You know, when you need to look for that last couple tenths, you really have to push it hard. And that's where you really need to be, get the geometry and the spring rates and everything right. Because other than that, you really can't change anything. Well, I know that some of the things are obvious, the exhaust systems and, uh, you know, the handlebars and the carbon fiber. But what are some of the other changes that are maybe aren't so, so common to the naked eye? Well, I mean, not a lot. I mean, you know, you change the 17 inch front wheel from the 18. You put different suspension on, uh, more racier, more adjustable a little bit, things like that. So other than that, nothing. I mean, they take off all the lights and signals and all that, and that's it. So if you go down to your dealership and you want to race one, it doesn't take a lot to get it out here. That's the best part of it, affordability and the dealership involvement. We're going to MotoGP in Indianapolis coming up, and we've been talking to a number of the riders about how excited they are. The last time I saw you there, you were recognized for your Daytona 200 win by Valentino Rossi himself. That had to be pretty amazing. Yeah, that yeah, the Daytona 200 win was was amazing for me. A great day, and uh, to have Valentino Rossi acknowledge it and give me a a little thing, uh, you know, because we're both sponsored by Danny Easy and AGB. They had a little little plaque that he had signed, so I was totally honored to be a part of it and uh, happy to looking forward to going to Indianapolis and being a part of their show. Well, I'll tell you what, you keep your eye on Steve Rapp with Indy. He's going to be somebody up front. He's somebody you can count on to put on a good show, and he's part of the Vance and Hines Army as well.